Hey guys, Drifter here. Today I've got a short video for you talking about these sniper shotguns in Call of Duty World War II. The gameplay you're seeing right now is not from me, it's from J-Hub. Unfortunately, I got to play the beta astonishingly little because I was in Gamescom Germany. So this is J-Hub's shotgun gameplay. You can see it down there below in the description. But if you rank shotguns up to maximum level in Call of Duty World War II, you get what they call the rifle bullet attachment, which is basically a shotgun slug round. It is a one-shot kill chest up at any range as as far as we can tell. Uh, it may be a maximum range at which it doesn't, but in all the gameplay I've seen and with no private lobbies to truly test, everything we've seen seems to indicate that it is a one-shot kill chest and head at any range, which basically makes it a sniper rifle. I don't want to be the guy that jumps on the this is OP, that's OP, this is broken train too early, but it definitely is very strong, and I think the Call of Duty community is going to end up being split between thinking this is something very cool or something very overpowered and annoying. A brief history lesson, slugs first showed up in Call of Duty games in Black Ops 2 with the KSG shotgun. It shot slugs by default and they were one shot kills with a fairly impressive range and it was a very fun gun. That being said, it shot kind of slow. It did have some wonky recoil on occasion and there was a finite range on the one shot kills you could get with it. I would say medium range and it was done. You definitely couldn't snipe with it though I think headshots were a one shot at any range. Slugs showed up again in Call of Duty Ghosts but were much less fun to use. They had much less range. I think they had more recoil. There was kind of some slugs in Black Ops 3 and that the Argus shotgun got super tight spread and a little extra range when you aim down sights and they had the kind of goofy energy shotgun but that was more like a slow moving projectile and if I'm not mistaken which I didn't play the game that much but there was one epic variant in Infinite Warfare that had slugs that one shotted people so on a power level compared to past games it would be more powerful than the KSG from Black Ops 2 if you didn't have to reload after every shot. Sledgehammer decided that for the rifle bullet, every single time you have to shoot it, not just for the double barrel shotgun, but for others as well, that you have to do a full manual reload and it can be quite slow. Rifle bullets are hella slow to reload, so when you miss, you have to be very careful with them. You have to reposition, reset up, fall back, and as you've seen from the gameplay here quite a lot, J-Hub has to fall back to just using a pistol because he knows he doesn't have time to reload them. So when you're using this attachment, as strong as it may be, even though it may have infinite range and function somewhat like a sniper rifle, you have to be smart about it. You have to get very good setups, you have to camp or have god tier reaction time. You definitely have to load up additional attachments like their version of the red dot sight so that you don't miss. You damn sure have to make sure that you don't miss, and you have to be very particular about your reloads. But doing all of that, you can get some very satisfying, very cool, and very long range one shot kills. However, when they're used against you, you just kind of get blown up and you die instantly and it's annoying. It ends up being kind of like a one-shot sniper rifle that you can slap a red dot on instead of using the ACOG version in this game at the 4X or whatever, or the iron sights that add additional recoil. It's probably a lot more fun than using the iron sight sniper rifles, to be honest with you, even though it does reload. And you'll just turn the corner or peek and just die instantly in a Call of Duty game, which you really shouldn't do, except maybe a shotgun point blank or a sniper long range. So that's going to be annoying. And I don't have a perfect solution for this. I haven't had hands on it very much. I don't know what we should do, but I do think that you, as the Call of Duty community that plays this game, should offer your feedback on what to do, not necessarily to me or into this comment section, but on Reddit, on Twitter, on social media, to Treyarch directly, because you as a community kind of need to decide what World War II game you want. Do you want to have something in the game that is inherently fun, awesome, and exciting to use, or do you want to scale that back because it's conversely strong and annoying to be used against you? You kind of have to choose one or the other and let the developers know. I just thought you should know about this because when I get on the beta coming this weekend, I'm going to be unlocking this attachment and putting some time into it myself. Guys, that is all for this shorter commentary. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you learned something useful. If you did, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Drifter out.